Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about how to copy data from a SQL Server database to Azure Blob Storage. In this module, we use the Azure Data Factory user interface to create a data factory pipeline that copies data from a SQL Server database to Azure Blob Storage. We create and use a self-hosted integration runtime which moves data between on-premises and cloud data stores. In this tutorial, we perform some steps. We create data factory and self-hosted integration runtime. And I have SQL Server and SQL database already ready. So we will create SQL Server and Azure Storage Link services. And we will create a pipeline with a copy activity to move the data. We can use we can use copy data tool to do this activity, but in this tutorial we will use Azure Data Factory user interface. I'm in the Azure portal. I will go to home and go to storage accounts. I'll create a storage account. I'll create a storage account under failover resource group and we need to give a storage account name for so, data from sql db and location east us performance standard storage v2 and i will choose locally redundant storage let's go to networking enable connectivity method public endpoint and data protection let's uncheck all this and go to advanced and keep the defaults and go to review and deploy the storage account and i will go to home and go to search and type data factory click on add and choose the resource group and we need to choose the region. I will choose East US. And then we need to game a unique data factory name. So data factory. Test. Log to SQL 01. And name is available and version V2. And let's go to Git configuration. Let's check this. Configure Git later. And go to review. and deploy this data factory and let's go to resource group and see if our storage account is ready yes storage account is ready i will create a container i will say container one sql to a blob and public access level and create this container. Now I have container available in storage account. And let's go to resource group and see if the data factory is available and data factory is available. Let's click on data factory. And before we go to data factory, I will go to sql server and see what data we are copying from sql database to azure blob storage i open ssms and i'll go to databases and then go to database one and click on customer let's select all thousand rows so we have data available and I will, I will copy this customer data to Azure Blob Storage. I will check how many rows we have in this table. If 
we have 847 rows available in a customer table. So we are copying all these 847 rows to Azure Blob Storage. I am back in the portal. So I will go to Data Factory and click on Author and Monitor. So I'm in the Data Factory page and Create Pipeline. Click on Create Pipeline. And in the properties, just put description SQL to blob storage. And under the pipeline one, move and transform. And we see copy data and data flow. Let's drag this copy data. So, and here let's say this name copy data one and description SQL to SQL database two into Azure Blob Storage. And let's click on source. And we need to establish this source connection. Click on new. And our source here, Azure SQL database, and click on continue. And then we need to establish this linked service. We need to create this linked service, click new. And let's say SQL DB2 block. And select the subscription. And server name, test SQL server one, and database name, database one. Let's enter the credential SQL server credentials. This is the connection. And it is successful. Connection successful. So now we need to choose the table from SQL database. So we have several tables available. So we, as we discussed earlier, we are copying data from customer table to Azure Blob Storage. We have 847 rows, 847 records available in customer table. Let's select customer table, click on OK. Let's go to sync and click on new. And we are copying this data to Azure Blob Storage. Click on block storage and select delimited text. Continue and click on linked service and click on new. I'm copying SQL DB into Azure block. And keep authentication method account key and select account selection method from Azure subscription and choose the Azure subscription and storage account name we have storage account available that is import data from sql database that is our storage account name and click on test connection connection successful let's create it now we need to choose the container where we are copying this data so we have this container sql to blog is available we just created that container select that container and click ok so now we establish the source connection and sync and let's validate this pipeline so our pipeline has been validated no errors were found now let's publish this pipeline so the pipeline one and then data sets, Azure SQL table one, and then the text file. So we, we are about to publish all pending changes to the live environment. Let's publish. And we can see the notification deploying changes, publishing. So once they publish, now publishing is completed. So now let's go to add trigger and trigger this pipeline. 
So this is the last published pipeline. Now we are triggering this pipeline. Click OK. So now our pipeline is running. Now how to monitor this pipeline? So now we have a question how to monitor this pipeline. We don't see it here. Now go to go on your left. We see general data factory view, author, and monitor and manage. So click on monitor. So here we can see our pipeline is completed. Let's click on this pipeline. So here we can see that our pipeline status succeeded and click on the details. Here we can see that rows read 847 and files written one and rows written in the destination in the target 847. And the copy duration is six seconds. This is fast. This is pretty fast. So now let's go to storage account and see if this is, if the data is available in the blob storage. So I will back into storage account and go to containers and click on the container and here we should see 847 records that we have data click on this file and we can download and open this file so we see the data available in the blob storage so we have all data available in this blob storage. Okay, so let's go back to fellow. Let's go back to data factory overview and other monitor. And we can, if you want to delete the pipeline. Just go to manage and go to pipeline and click on the pipeline. So here we see the actions open, clone, move to and download list. We can delete pipeline. Yeah, are you sure you want to delete? So yes, we want to delete the pipeline. So this is how we copy data from a SQL Server database to Azure Blob Storage. If you have any questions on this, please post in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.